In this video, we will continue with practical applications. You will find this on page 70 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. A funding body gives a donation to a sport organization every year from 1995. The donation is 1995 is in 1995 is 10,000 and thereafter it is 90% of the donation of the preceding year. Calculate the year in which the value of the donation first falls below 2,000. Okay, so you form a, a um, sequence. So it's 10,000, the 90% is 9,000. 90% of 9,000, it's 8,100. Then determine the, whether it's an IP or a GP. It's a GP and then the value of R will be 9 over 10. Going to make it a bit bigger. Okay, let's move on. I'm just going to need first that. Okay. So I must first, when it falls below, can still move it but down, 2,000. So with TN is below 2,000. So I just fill it in. I substitute and to get that in on the ground, okay, or to get rid of that exponent, I just take logs on both sides. And then just test if that log 0 0.9 is negative and it is negative. If it's smaller, then the inequality sign will change. And that's what happened. So n is bigger, so it's 70. The first year in which the donation falls below is 2011. So because it's at 5 plus 17, but then don't forget that inclusive 5. So that's why I subtract 1, and that's 2011. Okay, and again, I'm saying this. If you have to count it on your fingers, just do it, but make sure that you don't make that mistake. Okay, the total amount paid to the sport organization in donations during the period from 1995 to 2004 inclusive. It's that like inclusive again. So, okay, let's just go. From to inclusive, it's again there I plus the one again. So it's 10 years. Okay, so the inclusive says the plus one. So this the value of R is smaller, so I use this. So I just substitute. And in the place of N, I use 10. There's the beginning, 10,000. There's the value of R, 0 0.9. And I'm getting 65,132.16. Okay. okay, let's look at number C. The total amount paid to the sport organization in donations during the period from 2005 to 2014 inclusive. Okay, let's go to the next page. Now, the thing, the sequence will, will not start with 10,000. So, so the, I first have to work out what will be the term in 2005. Now, to find that, I must see what is the position, uh, what's the value of n in 2005. So, you have to work out 2005 minus 1995 plus 1, that in, so it's the 11th term. Okay, so I first, to get that value of a, where the sequence start now, I must first work out T11. Okay, I fill it in, and this is this is T11. This is where T11 start. Okay, but now I have to see how many years. From 2005 to 2014. So again, I subtract plus 1, so it's 10 years. So don't forget, in my new sequence, this is A, and to find that sum total, the value of N is going to be 10. So there is my value of A. I just didn't work it out. Otherwise, I'm going to approximate and I don't want. There is my 1 minus R N. And, and don't forget, my N is 10 years. And then I just work it out on the calculator. And that is my answer. Let's go back. The number of years it will take before the total. The total. That was uh, only in the year. So it was TN. But this is the total. So that means SN will exceed, will be bigger than 90,000. Okay? So SN is bigger than that, 
So I'm just going to start filling it in. So this is um, the value because it's the whole whole sequence. So it starts now again at 10,000. Bigger than that. And I just simplify and I take, in this case, I just swap it. I just took that one over. Do you see it to make it positive? Okay. And then I'm taking, I can first subtract. So I get 0 0.1. I take locks on both sides. I bring the end down. I divide and n is bigger than 21. Okay, don't forget that log 0 0.9 is negative. Okay, and if it's negative, it means the inequality must swap around. And then I divide and I get that n is bigger than 21.9, so n equals 22. So by this 22 year, the total amount by will exceed 90,000. Okay. Wow, it's quite a lot of things and you have to, if I think back of this sum, it's more than to say you have to start with a new sequence in every sum or focus on a new sequence before you just work on your original sequence. Okay, I want you to try the following one. Try now 33, number 1. Again, stop the video. Try to do it on your own. And then continue the video and try to remember that you sometimes have to form a new sequence with the data given. Okay, I'm going to just make it smaller then I can start. Okay, a dam initially holds 30,000 cubic meters of water. During each subsequent year, 40% of the volume of, um, at the beginning of the year is lost, so it's evaporating. Then, find the volume of water in the dam at the beginning of the second year. Okay, so it starts very nice. So the volume of water after the first year so if it's 40 percent loss it's actually meaning so it's therefore only 60 percent is left okay so if i'm going to go and i say but okay take the 60 out of 100 and multiply it with that 30,000 and I'm getting 80,000 cubic meters so therefore the volume of water at the of the second year is 18, 1, 2, 3. Okay. Let's do the second one. Okay, so this was the first one and now we're going to look at the second one. So I'm, I'm busy forming that sequence. Show that the volume of water in the dam at the beginning of the fifth year. Okay, now let's let's just start with the sequence. So if I'm looking at this is the first, I want to okay, this is the first, this is the second, this is the third. Oh sorry, let's just do it correct. And this is the fourth. Okay. So if I, so this will be 30,000, this is now the second year, 18,000, and if you want to work out this one, just say 60% or 60 over 100 times this, and I was working it out, 1080, zero. okay. So therefore, the value of A, no, I want to the take another color. The value of A is 30,000. 
the value of R is T2 divide T1, which is 18,000 divide 30,000, and that is 0 0.6. Okay. Now, if I want the fifth term, it's T5. T so, let's just go. A or N minus 1. In the place of A, it's 30,000. In the place of R, it's 0 0.6. And if it's T5, it's 5 minus 1. Okay. So, if I'm working out this, this will be, this is what they showed to me. Show that the volume of water in the dam of the beginning of year is 0 point. So, it's this. They just didn't simplify. I can even say, therefore, okay. And now the next one, write down an expression in terms of N for the volume of water at the beginning of the nth year. Okay, so basically it's exactly the same, so I'm can, I can keep on with that pattern. And I, the beginning, will just be this, but just put the N there. So it will be TN is that 30,000, 0 0.6, and N minus 1. That is for TN. Okay. Now we go to the next page. Now again, I want you to stop the video. I didn't show you the next page. So that was number A. So now what you can do is you can again stop the video. And you can first try number B and C. And as soon as you are done, you can continue the video. Okay, so show that the volume lost during the nth year is this. So this is very important. Form a new sequence for the volume of water lost. Okay, so let's start with number B. And this is a new sequence, and that's what I said is actually the whole story. Don't continue with the whole. So in the first year, if I want to find the volume of lost, oh, sorry, I want to go to that. Okay, I'm going to just go. Okay, if you want to find, just subtract 30 minus 18. So what will be your volume of loss there? It will be 12,000. Then subtract this two. So 18 minus 10. Okay, let's just quickly see. Yes, this is going to be 7,200. Okay, and now first work out this one. I was not, but you can do it in the previous one. If I worked out this one, I would have got 6480. And if I subtract this two then, okay, let's just do it later. I will now get, if I'm for free, So every time I subtract to find that new sequence, and this is what I'm having here. So the volume of loss will be, the first it was 12,000, then it was 7,200, then it was 4, 3, 2, 0, and then it was going on. Okay. So, show that the volume lost in N yet. No, no. I'm, now I'm doing exactly the same. I say the value of A, but now it, it's different from the previous. It's 12. The value of R is T2 divide T1 or T3. Remember, this is T1. T2, T3. So, it will be that 7200 divide 12,000. And if you divide that, you can test, this is actually interesting, 7200, you also get that 0 0.6. Okay, 
So I can say that Tn is still A or N minus 1. In the place of A, it's 12,000. In the place of R, it's still 0 0.6. And in the place, and then I just say N minus 1. I don't know the term. Okay, so that, that will be my formula. And then number C, let's go on with number C. So I can even say A for Tn. And this is my formula. Okay, number C. Find the total uh, volume lost during the first six years. So then it's just my SN formula. The value of R is smaller than 1, so the 1 is in front. So it's A, 1 minus Rn. And in the place of A, I put the 12,000. Then 1 minus 0, 0,6. And how many years is it? 6. And then 1 minus 0, 0,6. And then I press. Now, I prefer to first press the bracket. So I say 1 minus bracket 0, 0,6 close to the power 6 close. Multiply 12. Divide, again, if you want, 0, 0.4 or bracket 1 minus 0, 0,6 close. And correct to three significant figures. I'm getting 28600. Zero, zero. So therefore, that should have been S6. So therefore, the volume lost in six years is 28600. And I can say this is correct to three significant oh, <laughs> figures. Okay, and that's how you do it. You could have also, and I just want to show, you could have continued this pattern until you're six and then just add it up. That would have also gave you the same answer.